Hi there, this is Sue Simpson. I'm your instructor for Medical Terminology Nursing 155 for the summer of 2016. We're going to go through the syllabus together and look at some special information that I want you to pay attention to and hopefully clarify any questions you may have. You can reach me by email, which is the best way to reach me. I do have an office on campus if you want to make an appointment to see me. Email me and we'll set up a time I'll come onto campus and meet you. Our class begins June the 13th. The first day to withdraw without a W is June the 16th. That means you can get your money back, just take off. You can withdraw with a W at the 75% point, which is July 11th. And after that, you're in and you'll get a grade. So uh, the class number is 155. The section is 1008. Obviously, there's some information that the college wants with those for those numbers, so I have given them to you. you. This class is done entirely on Blackboard. Here is your login information. You use your SURF ID and your SURF password. Please remember these. Um, also, it's important to get your email correct in SURF as well as in Blackboard because we use those two reference points to send you information. So this course is the study of the origin, correct spelling, pronunciation, meaning, and usage of common medical terms and their application to clinical records and reports. Emphasis is on the roots, prefixes, suffixes, and medical abbreviations, symbols, and terms commonly used in medical records. So this is a language when you're in the field of healthcare and medicine that you will will come second nature to you. And if you get a good foundation in it, you can figure out what people are saying by looking at those root words with prefixes and suffixes. So it's it's a great tool to have. Here are our learning objectives, our SLOs and the objectives of the class. The text that I'm requiring is the um, Medical Terminology, A Living Language, 6th edition by Prentice Hall and Pearson is the publisher and get that extra space out of there and uh, ISBN is I believe correct but you want to make sure that you have the interactive access card or you can log in and buy that access online both the access card and the textbook are available in the Miracosta bookstore um, so you can go online and get help um, So it's important to do this because um, you will get your grades that will be funneled through uh, the gradebook. So you have to go in through Blackboard. Um, you can also get a medical dictionary. Um, there are some that are available online. Um, Mosby's or Tabor's are great uh, medical dictionaries. You need to have good computer skills, able to navigate the internet, uh, ability to use Microsoft with PowerPoint, um, have a good connection. You, you want to use these um, tutorials if it's your first time working with Blackboard and uh, browser requirements. You can check on all these things here. There is an excellent help desk for you and it is available almost 24 hours a day. And as I said right here, my degree is in nursing education, so you will do much better if you call the computer ex experts at the help desk for technical assistance. So this course is taught online with the use of the textbook. It's important. Uh, here's that medical dictionary, the free one that I write here. I think that one's adequate. I don't want you to have to go out and get a new one unless you're going to use it for your career. It's possible that you might want one. I think I still have my original one somewhere. And um, so if you're taking campus on classes, if you were taking your classes on campus during the semester, pardon me, you'd be spending about three hours a week in this class. Uh, so now we've scrunched it down to six weeks. So you're going to probably need to put about 12 hours a week in. It's a lot of work. This isn't just a quickie summer class that's going to just zip by. So um, you could test your online um, so see if your online course is right for you. If this is the first one you've ever done, this is going to be a heavy one. 
So here's some interesting um, sites that you can look at to see if this is what it, you think it's going to be. So uh, participate and communicate with emails and discussion boards. There's three discussion boards that you're going to be involved in. Please review what netiquette means, uh, appropriate um, texting and posting. Um, we don't use text language. We use full um, English, proper English with punctuation and capitalization in appropriate places. Please do not use text language. Um, so here's the weekly, what you have to do weekly, read all the posts and the announcements, uh, complete the discussion board. There is another little video on how to navigate through the course that I've already made and you need to do that. Uh, review the guided lectures in Pearson's My Lab, like I have indicated. Um, there's some self-pacing that you can go along with. You can download some interesting things onto your phone. And um, make sure that you complete everything that you're assigned. Don't take the quiz unless you are ready to do so. So here's our weekly schedule. Week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. As you can see, it's pretty much three chapters a week, except for in week 3, there's only one chapter, but we have a midterm exam and a discussion board and extra credit options need to be completed by the 29th of June. And then three chapters a week for weeks 4 and 5, and then in week 6, one chapter, another discussion board, and um, the final quiz and the final exam. The midterm is on chapters 1 through 7, and the final is on chapters 8 through 14 of your textbook. If you don't complete the first quiz on chapter 1 by the end of the first week, I'm going to drop you from the class because you're not going to catch up. You can't just this happened there are due dates and I stand by them and um, you can't catch up and do everything at the end so use your time wisely there isn't a able to make 20 extra credit points and that's um, you can do extra games in the Pearson lab my lab that is in chapters 1 through 7 um, for the fine and in for the midterm and chapters 8 through 14 in the final and you can complete any um, at least 10 of the appropriate chapters discussion boards there's three that we have the first one is an introduction and I want to point this out you must give an initial and four reply post for each discussion to get your full points and it and just saying, oh, I agree, that's not a reply. You need to give it a little bit of of meat to the matter. So here's a little bit of a um, well, here's exactly what you need is a rubric to tell you what you're doing to get the best points possible. There are also quizzes involved. There's a total of fourteen. They're each worth twenty points. They're timed. You have 30 minutes. I am using the Honor Simp system. They're not open book. Um, if you do get locked out of an exam, let me know. I'm the only one that can unlock it. Um, this is the one time where the student help desk can't help you. So um, I'll do my best to open it as soon as I can get to a computer once you've notified me. If you have any computer issues, um, While taking the quizzes, you can always go to any computer with internet access. This includes MiraCosta or the Public Library. Computer issues are not valid excuses. So if you have a weak Wi-Fi link where you are and it dumps you, that's not really a good... Make sure you're um, on a good connection. Um, I've posted the exam schedule previously. Like I said, one midterm, one final. And here's the breakdown of the points. So go ahead and have a look at that.
We also have some lab, uh, library resources, college support. There's a writing center. There's a tutoring and academic support center. Um, the grading scale is based here. If you have any disability accommodations, please contact DSPS, and their phone number is here, 795-6658. Academic integrity is expected. Please um, refrain from any dishonesty and uh, any plagiarism. So I'm here to make this a successful and enjoyable experience for you. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to assist you. And with hard work and dedication, you're going to experience an increase in abilities and confidence when it comes to medical terminology. I look forward to working with all of you over the next six weeks.